Hello, it's me Andrea. Today I have a quick one here. So I have this three cardboard um, or carton canvas, as you call them. They have been used already. I um, painted over it with gesso and I will use this structure snow again. I used it before in my projects. One I showed this canvas with the tulips. Uh, um, I'm working on a series at the moment. So basically I do the same sort of texture and paint but in a yeah different way. So um, I put the structure snow down on both starting on the top left and um, going down to the right bottom and I use the black acrylic ink um, acrylics paint and with grey again. And I use a bit of water to thin it down that everything, the, the paint is going into the, the crackles and the holes everywhere. So a bit of white on top of that. And then I use the black paint diluted with water to make this sprinkles. I have to dilute it a bit more. And I think I do the same with grey, Yeah, as you can see here. So the next step is I'm using golden acrylics, fluid acrylics in um, this Indian, now that's diary, wait let me have a look before I tell you something wrong. It's diary light yellow and the Indian yellow hue, both the lighter and the darker yellow orange and here I use the titan buff from golden acrylic but I won't fill in all the white spaces, only a bit. So, And this is another dye I use. It's a string for a balloon. And um, I dyed, you can see it already, I dye cut um, this um, strings from rusted paper. This paper I will show you now. I used my rusty stuff on that. I always have a few of these uh, pages laying around that I can cut something out if needed so like to be prepared so I glue it down again from the left top to the right bottom and of course I uh, where it was connected I cut it up so and this is the canvas I will glue it on or stick it on that's a titan buff I prepared with and here I already have the painters tape down um, exactly the middle and on this part I will have the texture down again with the structure snow I showed you before and I think yeah I will show you again again with that one and I wanted to have it in a dark grey so first of all I used this um, paste stuff um, in um, anthracite it is but it wasn't grey enough so I tried the black acrylic here from Amsterdam mix it in wasn't dark enough as well so the last thing was this India ink I used and that got me the right grey I was uh, looking for and um, I was it was now very much diluted with all the stuff I put in but I could put it down equally and very in, in one layer so that was quite good to work with didn't I, I didn't leave it to dry completely it's the best way to put the painter's tape away. When it's too dry it will uh, tear stuff out but it shouldn't be too um, wet as well. And this is a wax paste I'm using. I like this stuff. It's They have different colors and this is the silver and it's a bit like uh, Viva um, Inca Gold but um, it, the, the the texture is a bit different so I really like to use that one it's more covering it's not that translucent it's really good I like it so on here you see me something doing very unusual I measure yeah <laughs> I had to do that I do that actually with the distressed markers because I can wipe that off afterwards so and I put this 3d foam on the back and to make sure that it really sticks, I put this uh, quick dry glue from uh, Eileen's on that um, foam pads. 
and that is absolutely safe that will hold it so all three of them are on and now I will show you a short uh, uh, close-up and um, yeah that's the finished canvas and that goes to someone who already yeah who ordered it actually so I really like it and I hope you do and had fun watching it so um, if you like it give me a thumb up and I say thanks a lot for watching and I hope I will see you with my next video so at the end you will see some pictures as well have a nice time guys bye bye